Let's talk to Jonathan Sacha Doty, who's from the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism and speaking from central London. Thank you very much for talking to us. I just wonder how you're viewing what's been going on, uh, certainly over the last couple of days, but now this new situation in the kosher supermarket. Good afternoon. Yes, sadly, the Jewish community has been braced for this sort of attack for years. Jews have been dealing with the bloody consequences of growing extremist Islam for decades. And as ever, we're the canaries in the mineshaft, sort of the litmus test of freedom, if you will. Just like the cartoonists who are upholding our basic freedoms of expression, Jewish people are sadly among the first targets for extremist Islam. What does this change? I mean, if you look at uh, the way French and in British society, relations between the faiths uh, carry on on a daily basis, do you fear that this is going to be disrupted among moderate people doing normal things in their daily life? Well, Jewish schools are ringed with razor wire already. I mean, I'd, I'd like to ask your viewers, children's schools ringed with razor wire, because ours are. Airport-style security, uh, solid iron gates are a feature of, of how we take our kids to school. Jews go through high-level security in order to get into their places of worship. Does that happen in the entrance to churches and into mosques? This is something that Jews are already doing. Jews have to have this security. If anyone thinks that this sort of thing is a level of Jewish paranoia as well, what's happening today, along with the previous attacks that have happened in France, along with the killing of Jews at the Jewish Museum in Brussels, along with the shooting of school children at the school in Toulouse, these things show that actually there's a very real fear among Jewish people. And even not that many years ago, a plot that was foiled in Manchester of a Muslim couple who were manufacturing a bomb and had a list of Jewish targets that they were going to use it on that could have killed dozens of people. So the fear is very real among Britain's Jews, and it's there for a reason. It's a totally justified fear, as we see today, when Jewish shoppers preparing for the Sabbath are being held hostage in the basement of a supermarket, a kosher supermarket in Paris. I wonder how you would then think that things should move forward, given that uh, this sort of thing has happened, the, the experiences that you're discussing, also the attacks that we've seen on mosques in various places. How, does, how do relations move forward and carry on? Well, at the campaign against anti-Semitism, we had just yesterday a meeting with Theresa May in order to discuss the way that things can improve for Jewish people in the United Kingdom. And now we are also calling for a zero-tolerance policy uh, under the law of anti-Semitic attacks on Jewish people, because the laws are currently good enough to protect us. But we need to be reassured that there's protection for our buildings and our people and our way of life. And really, the emphasis that needs to be made is that this is not a Jewish problem. This is actually a British problem. Because when minorities like Jews feel threatened in the country for justifiable reasons, watching what's happening across Europe, then you can understand that British values of tolerance and security for minorities just aren't being upheld well enough. And that's something which is of a big concern. Jonathan Sakadoti from the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism. Thank you.